Have you ever wanted beautiful glowy skin, but caking on layers of highlighter just isn't working? Hello, I am Ruthie's Magical Camera, and I like to make portraits made of wonder and daydreams. I love editing my portraits in a way that gives this ethereal, glowing look. It feels very fantasy to me. I'm going to show you how I went from this to this in Adobe Photoshop on the web. It's really easy. I'm going to show you step by can edit this one. You're going to see and hopefully look. What? Skip the intro and get to the tutorial already. First, we're going to start by opening up our picture on Photoshop on the web. Then we are going to create a new layer and then we're going paint, paint bucket. We are going to change the color to 7F, 7F, 7F. This is exactly the middle point between white and black, so it is 50% gray. With our paint bucket tool, we are going to paint that whole layer gray. And then we're going to change the blending mode of this layer to soft white. And then ta-da! Nothing is different. <laughs> change our paint color back to white and I want to have white and black as my two options. Select your brush and then we are gonna set the opacity down to somewhere between six to 10%. I'm gonna start with 6%. Make sure your brush hardness is set to 0% because we want a really soft edge for your brush. With my brush, I am going to paint white onto the highlights and black onto the shadows. I am basically using a dodge and burn technique. This is my favorite way to dodge and burn because I like being able to hit X to switch between white and black. So you can see every time I hit X, it switches colors. So starting with white, I am going to paint in the highlights. I like to set my brush opacity really low so that I can build up the color but have a really soft edge so you don't see any harsh lines on the image. You'll see that I'm using a stylus to draw onto this, but you could totally do this whole tutorial with just a mouse. I like to really emphasize the highlights in the eyes, on the nose, anywhere that is slightly glowing, I'm gonna make that really brighter. You could really push this as far as you want, but here's what it looks like before and after. I love toggling this layer on and off because the difference is so dramatic. From here, we're gonna do a little bit more. I'm going to the levels adjustment panel. I'm gonna boost my whites here on the right side and I'm going to deepen my blacks here on the left side. Now the contrast in this image is really beautiful, but I wanna be ethereal in how much I glow. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Let's create a new layer and we are going to change our brush opacity now to 75%. Another quick shortcut to know is that your brackets will make your brush bigger and smaller. So the right bracket makes my brush bigger and my left bracket makes it smaller. And I'm going to take the color white and paint directly on this new layer. I'm going to paint the very brightest spots of the image with white. So right here, this little highlight on my nose, I'm just gonna do a little bit like that. Oops. I'm gonna do the highlight on my lips, like right here. It looks a little weird right now, so what we are going to do is go filter Gaussian blur and we are going to soften up that highlight with a little bit of a blur. Once you're happy with it, hit done. We could lower the opacity to make it a little less strong and a little more subtle. So here's what that looks like. It just adds a very slight glow. I like to do this in multiple new layers so that as I go step by step, I can delete a layer if I don't like a section. So I'm gonna make a new layer for my eyes. And I'm just gonna do the little brightest spots. Really emphasize any of those bits of glitter. And then same step, filter, Gaussian blur. And I'll just repeat that process until I'm happy with it. This is the photo before, and this is the photo after. Isn't the difference insane? All just by painting a little bit of white and black onto the photo. This effect can be done on other types of pictures. It doesn't have to just be portraits, but I love how dramatic it makes like the portraits look. We could do a little bit of color grading with the color palettes. I want it to be a little bit more cool tone. And then last color adjustment that I always do is vibrance because I love those colors to be saturated. 
Now, you may be asking yourself, can't I do all of this on the desktop version of Photoshop? To that I say, yes you can, but Photoshop on the web is perfect if you're a beginner. It's very user-friendly and it's perfect for getting you comfortable with Photoshop before diving into the full desktop version, which can be a little intimidating at first. I also like how it automatically saves my work to the cloud, so I could be working on a photo and then open up that same photo on any computer, and that computer doesn't need to have Photoshop downloaded on it. And there you have it, we did a dodge and burn technique. We painted in custom highlights and then we color graded our image. When you put that all together, this is what we get. Now it's time to try this for yourself using Photoshop on the web. Click the link in the description and have a magical day.